In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one absolutely crazy thing that happened to me after an audition, and I'm really glad that it did. And if you watch this to the end, you're also going to get a better sense of what the industry is like, what things can happen. Also, as a special bonus, uh, you will see I will uh, share the link with you for a really interesting uh, video about should you audition for roles that are against your type. And um, I think you're going to really enjoy it. Okay, let's get started. Hi, my name is Aaron Marcus, and welcome to the Acting and Modeling Quick Tips channel and the Actor Career Center, where I share information uh, with fellow actors um, based on my 38 plus years of working as a full time actor. Hey, if you haven't done this yet, don't, don't forget, click the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you always know when I upload a new video. And if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up. That is actually really helpful. And also feel free to share the link with your fellow actors so we can continue to build a community of actors helping each other. So a number of years ago, I was sent out uh, to audition. This was in New York for a television show called Gotham. Not sure if you remember it. Um, I think it was on Fox TV, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the sides that I read for was the leader of a self-help group. Uh, it was a bunch of people with various phobias and I was the leader of the group. And I, I felt really good uh, going into the audition. Um, and, and one thing, I know it's a little bit on the side, but I'm going to share it with you anyhow, because uh, that's just how my brain works. Uh, so basically, I'm talking to everybody in the group and we're in a room. And so just so you know, if look, every audition that I do, I don't I don't try to just audition. I try to give the look as if the scene is actually being shot. So for my eye line, you know, I'm not just talking to a reader over here. I'm talking to um, everybody in the room. Uh, who's in this self-help group with all these different phobias. So I'm talking to people, you know, and I'm looking around the room so I could see everybody. Anyhow, I wanted to share that with you. So I uh, did the audition and uh, a day later I get a uh, phone call from the agent and he said, I've got some good news and bad news for you. So I'm curious for you, how you guys deal with this. Personally, I like bad news first because then I have something to look forward to. So, so I said, okay, well, give me the bad news first. So bad news, bad news was they cut that role out of the show. And I'm saying, and there's good news, you know, after that. And, and by the way, that stuff happens all the time. You know, you, you could, you know, you could be the perfect person for the role. They might even want to cast you. And look, sometimes they just cut it out. Sometimes you shoot it. And for the sake of time, they have to cut you know, cut it out and you're not, you don't make the final edits. That stuff happens all the time too. So, so that was the bad news. Good news is they really liked my audition and they wanted to offer me another part. I said, okay, so what, what, what's happening with this? He said, well, the other part of the good news is instead of being a day player, which is what I originally read for it because that role uh, just worked one day on the show. This was a week contract. He said, now, I just want to let you know, you don't have any lines. Uh, in this particular scene, or actually there are a couple different scenes and that's why it was a week uh, contract. Um, I have a phobia. I am scared of pigs. Uh, this tremendous fear of pigs. My character, not me. I like pigs. Don't like to eat them, but I, I do, I do like, I just don't eat any animals. But anyhow, um, I, uh, I don't have any lines and I am scared to death by a guy, this horrible scientist who tries to get people really uh, uh, frightened at the highest moment um, of, of, of their fears and then we'll extract something from your brain and it's like that, that's what's going on. But the point is I see a pig, freak out, and then I get uh, tasered and then I get kidnapped and they're going to kill me. So 
Uh, he said, look, you don't have any lines, and I just wanted to let you know, look, if you don't want to accept it, that's fine, um, and I'll continue to submit you for, you know, for roles that have lines. And I'm th and like, it took me a nanosecond to say to the agent, go, of course I'm going to take it. You think I'm going to turn down a weak contract on a hit uh, uh, show, and, and I get a chance to do some pretty interesting things. The industry can be crazy. You know, you just never know. But the important thing is you get yourself out there because you just don't know what might happen. And and it, w it was really fun getting tasered and kidnapped and, uh, uh, and being surrounded by a lot of pigs uh, in, in this one particular scene after I was kidnapped. And it was really uh, pretty cool. Anyway, hey, I'll just tell you, because it was really cool. So um, after I was tasered and, and knocked out and I am tied up in a chair in this warehouse, and it, it was really beautiful. Um, what they were doing was they were going to let all these huge, actually these weren't even, big, these were hogs. These things weighed, I think they, the guy told me, the, um, the animal tr uh, uh, coordinator, these things weighed like up to 200 pounds and they needed to let them run into the room so that uh, I would be so incredibly scared and that's when they would um, take things out of my brain and all that kind of stuff. So so I was speaking with the uh, trainer. He said, look, this is what's going to happen. We're going to open the door. They're going to come rushing at you. And here's the thing. They're not going to hurt you. Um, but they are going to run right up to you because we're going to put some food right by your feet. And they might knock your chair around a little bit. Don't be concerned because, once again, they're not going to hurt you. And, and my eyes had to stay closed for that particular scene. So, and that's exactly what did happen. So I'm lying, you know, or I'm sitting in the chair like this, and I could just feel them. And they were bumping me around. It was great. Oh, what a wonderful experience. So yeah, you never know. Once again, hey, if you haven't done it, subscribe, click the notification bell, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it. If you ever had a really interesting experience, things changed on you, please share, share it with others in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. Hey, I almost forgot. If you look up here, you'll see the little, I guess it's kind of like an exclamation point. That's where you're going to uh, be able to click and see the uh, bonus video. You will see a, uh, a video below that. That's just one of the playlists, uh, but it's the little one all the way on the top. I'm Aaron Marcus. Can't wait to talk with you again soon. See ya.